In this tutorial, we're going to take a brief look at five of the many tools that can be used for variant annotations and some of the things that they can do. Variant annotation is the first step in analyzing sequencing reads and its purpose is that it allows researchers to differentiate between potential disease causing mutations. Ntools is the first tool we will look at, and what Ntool does is that it provides a fast way to annotate indels and copy number variants and also single nucleotide substitutions. Outputs in Ntools are actually quite long since they provide a lot of information about single nucleotide polymorphisms, indels, and copy number variants. The outputs are generated in variant call format. ANOVA is the next tool we will look at. What ANOVA does is that it does a variety of things such as identifying what causes protein code changes, identifying variants in genomic regions, and it can also retrieve nucleotide sequences in specific genome positions. Here is an example of results you might get when using ANOVA. As you can see, it gives you a variety of options to do with your sequences, such as identifying missense, nonsense, and splicing variants. You can also remove variants in your sequencing. PMUT is another great tool to use because it helps in predicting pathological mutations such as pathological disease from mitochondria or proteins. PMUT makes these predictions based on the use of different kinds of information that it receives from the sequencing and uses that to label mutations and processes that information. You can see from the diagram some of the predictions that it makes. The next tool we will look at is the Oncotator. This tool is specific to cancer research and it annotates point mutations and indels. Oncotator collects information from multiple annotations such as genomic, protein, and cancer annotation. GURP++ identifies constrained elements in multiple alignments by quantifying substitution deficits. GERP++ consists of two programs, the GEP call and the GEP alum. GEP call estimates constraints for each column of the alignment, while GEP alum identifies constrained elements from GEP call's output. And these are some of our sources. Thanks for watching and please check out the last tool on analyzing sequences.